Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video let's take a look at these solar panels that I bought. Uh, these are 165 by 165 millimeter and with a dash you can see these are 6 volt panels. Uh, each panel produces about uh, 500 milliampere or so and these are epoxy uh, monocrystalline cells. So the way they make these cells is they basically take the monocrystalline cell and they put it in a box and they fill the box with some epoxy resins. And what that does is that makes a, a, a coating of epoxy on top of the cell as well as on the sides and at the back and then they tab out the wire and make these terminals and, and as the standard with solar panels the left uh, the right terminal is always positive and the left terminal is always negative so the solar panel is supposed to be 60, 165 by 165 millimeter so let's just confirm that with the measuring tape here is a tape measure and they should be about 165 millimeter and as you can see they are in fact 165 millimeter by 165 millimeter exact so there is no problem there uh, and here are the uh, connection points the terminals so uh, let me just put some shoulder on there and let's take these solar panels in sunlight and see whether they are producing 6 volt or not and whatever the output characteristics are heat up the pad a little bit and then feed in some solder there we go let's do the other pad as well Okay, we've got both the pads done. Let's solder some wire, a black to the negative. That's done. And a white wire to the positive. Usually we use a red wire for the positive, but because I don't have red wire right as this at this moment, I'm using a white wire. a good connection now okay let's take this solar panel under the sunlight and see whether we are getting 6 volt or not we will measure the open circuit voltage as well as the short circuit current so here we are under the sunlight let's as you can see I've connected the negative to the black probe of the multimeter and the positive of the solar panel is connected to the uh, red of the multimeter and let's flip the solar panel so that it is facing the Sun and now as you can see it is facing the Sun and let's take a look at our multimeter so we are getting about 6.63 volt and if i tilt the angle to face the sun we are getting a maximum of 6.7 6.79 6.79 volts so we are good with the volt so taking out the red probe from the fuse socket and then changing the multimeter to the 10 ampere maximum setting as you can see we are at 10 ampere setting and now reconnecting the red probe to the 10 ampere max port and we are getting about 0.2 milliamperes and if I face it towards the sun the maximum we are able to get is 0.3 milliamperes so it was uh, not it is not exactly 0.7 amp which the company was claiming so it is giving me 0.3 amp so there we go this was my video on the solar panels 6 volt I got this from Aliexpress I hope you like this video and this is a small project that I created using these solar panels. Basically I've connected two panels together in parallel. Then I connected this small charge controller and with that you can charge your phones or USB gadgets off of it. If you want to see how I built this project you can see the link down below. I hope you like this video. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.